Uh, today what we're going to be doing is working on this Chicago Electric Harbor Freight 4.5 inch angle grinder. Um, the issue with this is um, the switch stopped working. So I thought that maybe the switch was broken. I did not check the um, or look at the uh, brushes at all. So what I thought I would do since it was broke, I thought it was a switch, I would just tear it apart. So that's what I did. Took it apart. And you can see here is the armature and um, fan blade, cooling fan. It was rather dirty. You can see here, this is the um, copper where the brushes come in contact on either side. And when it's energized, um, by touching this, it energizes, creates an electrical uh, field or, or magnetic field. And with 60 hertz apply to this, uh, cycling gets this thing, this motor to, uh, to, to spin. So um, it is a little bit grimy, but you know, it's pretty heavy. It's, a, it's a, not a, a poorly, made, um, poorly made grinder. I do want to get some more grease in here. You can see the helical gear, gears that are in here. The uh, bearing spins really nice, so that's everything there is in good shape. So as I tore this thing apart, um, thinking that it was the switch, um, after I took out the armature, I soon realized that what the actual problem was, was the brush. As you can see the brush here, these are some uh, brushes that I was able to find. I, I, I couldn't buy them on eBay because I didn't have the measurements, so I didn't exactly know which ones they are because they're metric. Um, but this brush that was in this grinder, you can see, snapped in half. Uh, what I'm going to do is take some measurements of this because I think I can get these on Amazon. So I'm just going to put my uh, dial indicators on this and take some measurements. Um, and then what we're going to do is put this back together. Let's take some measurements here. Let's see what we have. We're looking at 7.43 by 6.4, 11 .4 11.43, 6.43, 7.43 by 11.43, okay, remember that. All right, so we got our two screws back here. This is secure. We got our uh, two coils put on. Now what we're going to do is drop our gear head, fan, and commutator, or I'm sorry, armature in here. And we got grease. And this is just going to go in here. There's no gasket here. This is just a just a snug fit just like that so we're going to drop four screws I'm going to put these in and then uh, get back to you as soon as I get these screwed in okay one thing that is important is you'll notice that there's a ball bearing on this end which spins really freely there is a rubber cap that goes over that and that is going to prevent the armature from swinging wildly in this thing so I had forgotten to put that in and that's why I thought it was odd it was making that noise so we're gonna get this snug down and lined up and now it's not making that noise because the armature isn't fluttering in there get that snapped in and get this put back together We've got grease on our on our gears and there is a very thin gasket. We'll do this and then we'll get the brushes in. And then we'll test fire it. There it goes. That's what I was waiting for. Get to kind of snap it itself in the case. Is that? We're good. 
that's turning in there. All right, so next is to put the brushes in. The brushes only go in one way. You just want to push that down, get that started in there. And then what you can do is you can take your cap and then use a little bit wider screwdriver here so I'll strip this. And that's tight. So now we'll do the other side. Now these new brushes are going to require a break in time. So I'm going to see if I still have the owner's manual around. This one had about half its useful life left. So uh, we're gonna, we got our measurements on these so we can go on Amazon and figure out where to buy them. First what I want to do is see if this works. So let's plug it in. That's why they have these covers here. If these don't work, first thing you do is you check your brushes. Uh, but uh, since I had it already taken apart, hopefully uh, now you know what is in the guts of one of these Harbor Freight uh, grinders and pretty much the same thing in any of these grinders. But for 16 or 17 bucks, you really cannot go wrong with these. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, that helps me out a lot, and we will catch you in the next video.